to do a quick video on my evolution in the Beyond Body for the last five or so years. The Beyond Body, by the way, is one of the reasons why I started this channel other than astral projection. Now, as those of you who have been following my channel for a while know, astral projection was obviously something that I started years and years and years ago when I was a child, but the Beyond Body has come along in the last five or so years, and I so wanted to share this, I guess, with the world or anyone who would listen, because I've always thought it was an amazing, amazing thing from the first time that it happened to me. So every once in a while, I'll get questions on the Beyond Body. And sometimes what I like to do is I like to go back and maybe try and explain a few things. Um, for instance, what is the difference between astral projection and the Beyond Body? I think this is a really big one. And, and this is kind of something that I want to start with initially here to talk about. One of the big differences or the big difference between astral projection and the beyond body is the sense that when I'm in the beyond body, I have a feeling or a sense that I have a body, that I'm walking around like I'm walking around in the 3D world. When I astral project, it's a completely different feeling. There is a definite feeling of being in a reality when I'm astral projecting. And um, I think most of us who do astral projection can agree it's a reality, but it's a different kind of reality and it's a different kind of feeling. You get the sense when you astral project that you can move when you're in a world or in a place Instantly from one place to another, from one spot to another, you feel that you can jump in the air and fly and do all these different wonderful things. When I'm in the beyond body, it's, it's different. I don't always get that sense. Now, I want you to know that in the beyond body, by the way, which is really cool. And this is a very interesting thing about the beyond body. Beyond body really is. And let me explain. I you know I my mom and I came up with the word beyond body. I would say that beyond body is very close to what Robert Monroe talked about in uh, locale three, when he was able to visit different versions of himself in uh, different realities. It's kind of basically what it is that I'm doing here. I'm visiting different versions of myself in different realities and there are infinite number of realities and in some of those realities or at least in a few of those realities I have been able to fly and that has been amazing there are realities where flight is possible human flight without a machine or anything else you can just jump up and fly at least for me and that has been quite interesting, but it still isn't the same feeling as when I am astral projecting, because when I astral project, there is a feeling of lightness. Um, and when I'm in the beyond body, again, there's a sense of weight. Now, when I fly, I have to really put some effort into it when I'm flying, as opposed to astral projecting, where it's it's almost like I have to keep myself anchored to the ground. I have to keep myself from flying away. So that is the true big difference between astral projection and the beyond body. And now for the last five years, I've really been focused on the beyond body, though I've still had astral projection experiences in the last five years, the vast majority of what I've been doing has been in the beyond body. And it has been absolutely fascinating. I could never have foreseen that this would come into my life, the ability to be able to visit these 
different realities, these different versions of myself, that sense of motion. I remember the first time in the beyond body when I felt the motion and I felt like I was moving. It was amazing because again, in the beyond body, there is no separation, at least that I feel. I don't feel as if I'm separating from my body like I do when I astral project. When I astral project, I feel like there's separation. In the beyond body, I don't feel that same separation. I feel like my entire body is literally hurtling through space, which I've, I've said it before. Anytime I talk about the motion, I, I have a tendency to laugh, to smile. It is such an amazing, amazing feeling when I'm, when I'm moving through space, when I feel that sensation. Wow. I love it. I absolutely love it. So another question that has come up uh, before that I've seen is whether I have or have felt pain, physical pain in these different realities that I've visited. And I have to tell you, the answer to that question is yes, but not necessarily what you're thinking. I have had a sense when I've made physical contact with other beings in these realities at times that I felt a pain, sort of a searing or a pinching pain in my hand. And usually my hands are extremely sensitive either in astral projection and in the beyond body. So I would say in both, but yes, I've definitely felt a sense of pain when I've done the beyond body when someone has touched my hand. Other than that, thankfully, I haven't felt uh, pain, real pain yet. Knock on wood, as I knock on wood here, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to feel pain when I'm out there. And if I do feel it, I will definitely report it to you. In regards to the other senses, um, of course, I can hear things. I can hear voices, things like that. People, when they speak to me, I can hear that and everything in that way. Um, also, I in one of the last two videos, I obviously, I have a sense of smell. I was able to smell something, so that's cool. And I've had the ability to touch things feel what things are made of, whether they're soft or they're hard, things like that. Also, I haven't, I haven't eaten anything, so I haven't had any sense of taste yet. Although again, I've been able to smell things and my vision, my vision is as sharp as it is here, probably much sharper than it is here. I can see much better when I'm in the beyond body. So I think that that covers the senses with this. One of the things that I've begun to realize is that the shorter my trips are, the closer these realities are to the 3D world that I live in presently. I've so found this. There have been times where I've gone just a little bit, as I've talked about in some of my videos, that I've gone, you know, traveled for just a few moments. And then when I open my eyes in that new reality, I somehow believe that I haven't gone anywhere or done anything. Actually, I've been frustrated. Like, well, I, I felt the motion. I felt myself move, but I'm still in my apartment. When in fact, I'm in another version of it. And there are only slight differences. So... The shorter trips are closer to the reality that I know. But what's been interesting, and a part of this evolution that I've gone through in understanding, is that the further out I've gone, the more difficult it has been to grasp what I see. So when I go really, 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 really far out, I'm looking around and I'm having a difficult time understanding what I'm seeing the further out that I go. 
And while this is completely fascinating and I've had some of the most fascinating experiences in this way, I'm certain that for some of you, perhaps it has been a bit frustrating because I tend to say a lot, I saw this, but I don't understand why I saw it or I don't remember or whatever. And there's a good reason for this. I, you know, it's interesting on this channel, I don't talk a lot about this, but I wanted to kind of go over this with you to let you know that and I, I'm sure it probably seems obvious to you as you've listened to my videos, but I want to emphasize this to you. When I talk about my experiences, it is to my best recollection of what it is. I never add anything on to spice up the story or to fill in some gap somewhere in the experience that I've had. I simply tell you what I saw and let you decide. This is very, very important to me. My credibility is extremely important to me. It is important that you understand that what I'm telling you is what I see. And there's nothing else there that I'm adding on. This is extremely important to me. I've said before in previous episodes that these experiences, when I have them, have to meet a very high bar for me to share them with you. I have to know for sure that I wasn't having a dream, first of all, and I know that there are specific differences between dreams and these experiences that I have. So I know if I'm dreaming and I know if I'm having an experience, but if there is ever a question in my mind, I side on, well, this must have been a dream to make sure that what I'm telling you are experiences that I've had that I believe are beyond body experiences. This is very, very important to me. And yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to talk about with you today. Just take a moment to go over some of the theories that I've come up with some of the things, some of the ways that perhaps I've evolved over the years in this. And what I'm hoping is that I will continue to evolve. I'll continue to have more and more of an understanding of what it is that's happening to me. And of course, I'm going to continue to push the envelope. I will. I'm going to get out there and Hopefully, I can have some really, really interesting experiences to share with you. Also, just to make sure you know, astral projection is still there. I still do have astral projection experiences, and I love sharing them. Also, I want to make sure that those of you who are trying to accomplish astral projection are trying to do it. I want you to know that I'm here, and if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them, though I have said before, and I do mean this, I am not some instruct instructor or teacher or master guru of some sort. I'm just me. I'm someone who has had these experiences, and the, ex and the advice that I give to you, any advice that I give to you, is not based on a book that I've seen somewhere or someone else's uh, channel that I've been on that does astral projection, the experiences or the advice that I relay to you are based solely on my experiences. So thank you so much for taking a moment of your time to listen to this. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. And until next time, take care.